Today I'm going to be reviewing the Zeppon Micro Slider 2. There are a number of great reviews on YouTube already, but I'm going to throw mine into the mix. Let's get into it. thank Zeppon for sending this micro slider 2 over to me. To start off, let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Of course, you get the slider itself. It's all nicely packaged inside. And opening up the smaller container, you have a carrying pouch. I don't really use this. I pretty much just take the slider itself or leave it on my tripod. But they also include a little Allen key, which does come in handy. There's been a couple times where I needed to tighten up this little base here because it got, got loose. But once you tighten it up, it's solid and good to go. They also include a quarter 20 to 3 8 adapter depending on which tripod system you used. You're covered, it will work in most situations. They also sell a couple of different accessories for the slider. The first is a easy lock low profile mount. This allows you to attach it underneath the slider so that way you can actually set it on a ground or a tabletop. But there is a quick release function so you can attach that little plate to a tripod. From there you can quickly and easily detach the slider from the tripod. The ball head that Zeppon sent me works really well with lighter cameras so if you have anything from a mirrorless Sony or Panasonic like a G7, GH5 even with a light lens, it will do the job. Um, but once you start using heavier cameras, it's going to start to slip and it's not going to be ideal. So you definitely want to look at spending a few extra dollars to buy a better fluid head or ball head that's going to support the weight. I first tried using out the ball head that I purchased from Pergear and this works. It definitely holds the weight a lot better. I can put a Manfrotto quick release on that. So it can definitely swap between different systems quickly. However, this still wasn't perfect because due to being a ball head, I was constantly trying just to fix the horizon each time I wanted to use it. So instead, I just took my fluid head from my Manfrotto tripod, I believe this is the 502 HD, and I kind of just put that in between the tripod and the head. So that kind of just lives on that system, and I basically use it like a tripod, and if I want to get a slider shot, I can just take it off and start sliding, which is kind of nice. You know, in a run and gun environment, most of the time you're just carrying a tripod with you anyway. So it's really cool that they get to live in one system pretty much. And because this is a fluid tripod head, this means I can do pans and tilts while being on the slider. So it can, you can create some extra dynamic shots. You can do some parallaxing effects, which is really nice. So with heavier cameras, Rarely do I go to the extreme ends of that 21 inches because it'll start to tip, especially if you're on the ground, it's going to tip the whole slider over. So you're kind of just limited to using that middle of the slide for best stability. So I thought there might be a couple concerns for people who are looking for a slider like this. The first one would be, is 21 inches enough travel distance? And really, for a lot of product B-roll that I do, even interviews, that's like a perfect length. I'm not really looking for going from like one end to extreme, like three feet. I guess if you do more narrative or very stylized things, you might want to look at a different option. But if people are looking for a compact slider, they really don't need a huge length. So I think it's a perfectly usable amount of room. I don't ever find myself wanting more travel distance. And again, for like product B-roll, you're really just looking for a smooth, consistent slide. So looking for very subtle movements. And this is perfect because of the dampening, it provides a really even consistent resistance. So you get a very stable, smooth shot. In fact, I liked using the slider for B-roll. It's kind of hard filming B-roll for this video because I can't use the slider. So that's definitely one thing with my YouTube productions, I've been using the slider a lot more. And the other concern you might have might be the flip side is, is this thing compact enough for travel or vlogging uses? 
And I could see how coming in at two pounds, this thing could be a little too heavy that you don't want to take it with you everywhere you go and you might leave it behind. So whether or not you want a slider for that instance, but it sure does be a three foot slider. This could be a good option if you're willing to pack for that trip. One of the cool things that Zeppelin is doing is they're continuing to make accessories for this slider. So one of the newest accessories that they have coming out is a motorized attachment that attaches to the side of the slider, meaning that you can just do hands-free operation. It's also ideal for those second camera angles where maybe you don't have someone to operate it, but you want a little bit of movement in your story. That is um, one aspect that could definitely be helpful in your productions. That comes in at around $200, so you're looking at a bundle for about four to $500 for the full kit, which is definitely not a bad deal for something of this compact nature and its versatility. Great thing is, is you don't have to buy it all at once. If you just want the slider, you can get that, and then a few years down the road, you can get the motorized unit, and that's pretty cool. So who is the Zeppon Micro Slider 2 for? I think if you are dealing with run and gun environments, you're setting up quickly, you're moving quickly, but you also want to up your production value and you don't want to hassle with a big setup, um, this is definitely a good option for you. Because of its compact, small nature, it's really not that hard to pack it on a shoot, even if you don't think you're going to use it. That can't really be said with a Dana Dolly, for instance, um, or a three-foot slider. Um, this is easy enough to take with you wherever you go, and you might find yourself getting more shots through that. Sliders, though, they take patience and a more methodical approach to filming, kind of like a tripod is. You know, with a gimbal or you're filming handheld, you can kind of find your shot fairly quickly and then, you know, you get the shot and move on. With a slider, you definitely need to make sure you're framed right. It takes a little bit more time than a gimbal, but also you're not dealing with the frustrations of something like a gimbal where you're dealing with up and down movement. This provides a very static, very stable shot. It's definitely one of those things to invest in. Maybe not at the beginning of your video production company, but if you like slider shots and you want something that won't break the bank, this is a really good option. If you want to check current pricing and availability for the Zeppon Micro Slider 2, I'll leave Amazon links in the description down below. If you purchase through that, I get a little commission that helps support the channel and keep creating awesome reviews like these. I'll have more coming out in the future. Got some good ones planned for you. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.